In a data analysis task, after you have explored the numerical summaries, you can examine the, your data visually. For example, you can start visualizing one variable at a time. In this, um, in this video, we're going to start learning about one of the most popular packages in R for data visualization, which is uh, ggplot, and we will see charts that will help us to examine our data. Uh, for one variable at a time or two or more variables at a time. So we are going to work with ggplot. So the ggplot package is part of the tidyverse. So if you're going to work with uh, ggplot, I just suggest that you load uh, the entire tidyverse because that will load ggplot as long as other packages that may have functions that could be useful for you as well in your data visualization work. So when you start with analyzing one variable at a time, so you could explore, for example, the data distribution for that given variable. One of the basic plots for examining data distribution is the histogram. So in R, when we work with the ggplot package, we are going to use the ggplot function. If you run the ggplot function, you will see that this creates an empty chart. So inside this ggplot function, we are going to enter the input so we can customize our chart. The first input into the ggplot function is the data. Remember, you can always look at the health documentation for a function when you start learning how to use it. So the first argument here is the uh, data frame or a table. In this case, we are working with this data set called auto. So that will be the first input. We can write the name of the argument if we want or, or not that. That uh, will be optional. And then after that, we will enter the second input after a comma. The second input is the mapping. Here we will define the aesthetics of the plot. For doing that, you will see here that we use a function called AES. So inside AES, we are going to define what variable we want to plot in the X axis or in the Y axis. So here, let's say we're going to start by examine the histogram for a given variable, for a given numeric variable, for example, miles per gallon, MPG, in this auto data set. So um, here we are going to say that in our x-axis we are going to plot the MPG variable. Note that we don't have to enter the name of the data set dollar sign mpg just we need to enter the name of the the variable here also note that you don't need to use uh, quotes you just enter the name of the variable as it is so for example if we now run this uh, this code we are going to see that the plot has changed a little bit now we have the name of the variable in the x-axis and um, well the we have a range in the x-axis covering well from the minimum value to the maximum value for this variable. In ggplot, when we are going to create some chart, we have to define the geometry of that chart. For example, if we want a histogram, then we will use a function appropriate for creating that geometry, a histogram. So there is a family of functions here that have a similar name, they start with geom underscore. When you do that, our studio will show you the, well, uh, pop up with the names of all the possible charts that you can create in, in this package in ggplot. For a histogram, we are going to use this function, geom histogram. So here we can hit the tab key to autocomplete the name of the function. And you don't need to, well, basically you don't need to do anything else because um, you, we already entered the, the source of the data, which is auto, and then we define what variable we want in the x-axis. So when we run that, we are going to see the distribution of this variable mpg. 
uh, we see that there are more values well the frequency of lower values are, is higher than the frequency of higher values and we could customize this chart in, in this chart in many ways we could change the width of the of the beans or, or bars here we could change the color of the bars we could change the background the names of the labels um the well the the values in the x-axis or y-axis uh, and adding titles and labels and legends so we could customize this in a very detailed way but for now we're just going to keep the we are just going to keep the, the basic plot so this will be the first plot that you are going to create probably if you are going to examine one variable and if you want to look at the data distribution